What is up everybody? It is Wick here and I'm out hitting some garage sales this morning. I find this He-Man lunchbox at the first sale I stop at. Still setting up here at this sale, but it's vintage. It's $10. There's no thermos. I decided to grab it because I like it. It's in pretty good condition. There's a little bit of money to be made uh, even without the thermos. Uh, with the thermos, quite a bit. I think about $80 with the thermos. Here's a little tote of knives. I'm just checking to see if there's any good knives in there. Good brands, case, anything like that. Uh, here's something new. And I forget the price of this. I think it was priced kind of high. Uh, I saw it came from Walmart. Decided to pass on it. Here's some cars, some like household tools, old tools. And you know what? It's all this stuff's priced a little high, so I don't know if it's kind of like a flea market type situation or what. There's a plain uh, old one. I forget the price of that, but priced too high. I asked the guy if he has any video games he's going to be selling, and he says, I have a big box over here. And um, he ended up going into the garage and getting it, and I was really excited. I'm like, oh, please be like Super Nintendo Genesis. And I see the, the Xbox 360. <laughs> Uh, quite a bit of them, though, and uh, he didn't have them priced. He said his wife has to price them later when she gets back. I don't know when that was. He told me to come back later. I told him, uh, I don't know if I'm really interested. I'd say I'd only pay at max a dollar a piece for them. Uh, just kind of basic stuff. Um, sorry about the camera work here, but <laughs> just holding the camera at a bad angle. But yeah, the game's just very basic. Nothing special. So I move on and hit this one. This sale, you see the, the Beanie Babies, you see the cereal boxes, NASCAR stuff. You see these sales all the time. Uh, people buy this stuff, I guess, and just collect it and hold on to it. And then um, it never really gains any value. I don't know what cereal boxes really are valuable, right? I see them at sales all the time. And I don't really pay any attention to them. Uh, let me know in the comments if anyone's ever bought any cereal boxes that was actually worth buying and selling and made some money on. Um, <laughs> cereal boxes, for me, you know, I just eat whatever cereal's in there, so I'm not really interested. I guess there's, I think there's some Michael Jordan, like Wheaties boxes that are probably worth some money. There's this HP photo printer. And this one has a screen on it. I have never seen one with a screen. So I'm like, this could be something. I look it up though. No, it's it's nothing. <laughs> so I stop in the Goodwill in this area. I usually don't go to this Goodwill. It's just insane. Uh, but when I'm in the area, I'll stop. And I see this Emerson caller ID. And I recognize it as being a good one. I've sold it new before on Amazon for about $160 and used at around a hundred dollars so for 4.99 it's worth picking up and yeah this goodwill used to be such a gold mine uh back you know 10 years ago when you'd come in here i remember seeing stacks of nintendo 64 games controllers all kinds of electronics all the time everything priced great amazing toys and then well i guess different management just decided to start pricing everything a bit crazy. And uh, yeah, um, unfortunately, that happens sometimes. And I know people complain about their Goodwills being too high priced. Well, a lot of times it's just going to be whoever works there. Um, there's some Goodwills around me that are priced amazing. Uh, they're not trying to you know, rob you. <laughs> so it really depends on the person, management and all that. So over here, I can't believe it. This is another plasma light sitting in this Goodwill. And this is like the third one I've picked up in a month, less than a month. It's already plugged in, so I just turn it on there. It's working. So yeah, I buy it and I've already sold it. I sold it for $40 plus shipping. That one is not a Lumisource one, vintage one, so I didn't know how it was going to do. I, I, there was no comps for that brand or anything. Here's one of these vintage Panasonic pencil sharpeners. Could have made a little bit of money on that. I just decided to, to pass on it. Uh, I think I have one to list now anyway. Back at it the next day, hitting some new garage sales. 
bunny bunnies by the bay right is is that it i was just talking about these i was didn't know i still don't know for sure if it is i don't think it is i, I looked it over i couldn't find any tags and my research showed it wasn't the bunnies by the bay so some of those can be worth hundreds of dollars um so yeah hopefully it wasn't at this sale now and at this table just has a bunch of overpriced knickknacks on it i won't call it junk <laughs> but um nothing for me uh this is kind of the theme of the weekend everything was just really priced high it felt like at these sales and i hit quite a few i did get some decent stuff i'm going to make money on it but sometimes that's just the way it goes you hit a lot of sales everything's high everybody's got ebay printouts <laughs> Uh, you go in Goodwill, everything's priced high, but you, oh, that's what picking's all about. You just got to find the one item out of the thousands of items th that you can make a little bit of money on. And in this Goodwill, this is going to be these baseball gloves. Nothing terribly special, but at $2.99, in good condition, you can make some okay money on them. Uh, I forget the brands, but uh, there's four or five I pick up. Uh, three of them, I think. And... Yeah, what else? My brain is just not working right now. I took a nap before doing this voiceover, so that was probably a mistake. I probably sound tired, but I was garage selling this morning and uh, got back and I wanted to take a nap. So <laughs> it is what it is. And uh, at this Goodwill, I'm still checking the toys. Uh, I see this electronic battleship and I don't even want to touch it <laughs> because... Well, I know I'm probably going to buy it if it's priced right. And I already got a couple to sell. And they sell good, like $45, $50 on Amazon. So it's one of those things where it's, I have to buy it. I have to count the pieces. I got so many board games right now. I'm, I have in my Amazon stack to count, uh, I think, a couple of electronic battleships. But I buy it. However, this cart comes out and there's a bunch of vintage hats on it. Unfortunately, there's no good vintage hats i look up a couple just to make sure they look interesting but just not selling or just you know not great uh there's one of them some sort of like club so i thought that could be good a radio station hat or something some shoes down here it looks interesting but in this goodwill they had brought out three new men's racks and i looked through those and i was able to find some really decent clothing so that's rare. Uh, I just haven't been seeing any men's racks at my local Goodwills come out. And, uh, oh, I got this uh, game in there as well we'll talk about. But, yeah, I got some clothing. And this isn't even all the clothing. I mean, I got, I think this was before the two cards came out. And, you know, I got to stop at Home Depot at least once every couple days. And I uh, find some good stuff. Let me show you. Check it out. I got a haul to show you today. Some awesome stuff. Kind of a mixed bag. Stuff from garage sales, retail arbitrage, thrift stores. So let's jump into it. Start back here with this popcorn popper. West Bend Stir Crazy. Got this for $3. These are kind of a good seller. Probably sell it on eBay for about $40, I think. The vintage ones. Looks like they didn't do a very good job cleaning it. <laughs> Looks like there's still some grease and butter and stuff on it. But I'm also kind of curious to try it. I've heard these are very good popcorn poppers. So I'll clean it up and test it and make some popcorn. Below it, I got a couple of receivers. Yamaha. One has the remote, uh, $10 a piece is what I paid for these. One of them I should be able to sell for at least $80 plus shipping. The other one uh, without the remote, probably more like $40. might be able to squeeze $50. We'll see. But I went ahead and grabbed them. I'm going to make some money on them. At Goodwill, I found three good baseball gloves. $2.99 a piece is all. Baseball gloves are very random at Goodwill. Sometimes they'll price them $15. Sometimes they'll price them $1. $2.99 is a fair price for them. And uh, I got like a Mizuno one here. I don't even know if this one's hardly been used really. I, I forget the prices exactly, but I, 
on average at least $30 a piece on these. I believe one of these was, um, I'm probably going to try selling for $40. Good conditioning on the Rawlings. This Spalding one here, I wasn't even going to buy, but you know what? It's in good enough condition and it looks pretty good. Uh, comp wise, a lot of them selling, so I went ahead and picked those up. Been selling a lot of gloves this year, so I'll get them listed. They might not sell until next spring baseball season when everyone's buying gloves again, but we'll get them on there. Also, you can see I got this baseball bat, which is brand new. We've got the plastic on it. Paid $8 for this. It's not a phenomenal bat by any means, but I should be able to sell it for $30 plus shipping, I'm thinking. So here is another one of these plasma lights, and I've been, I've well, found two within the last month, and they are the Lumi Source brand, uh, which I've talked about. This one is like H2, it says Snake Light. I couldn't find any comps on this on eBay, looking on Terrapeak, all that kind of stuff. Just couldn't find any solds, any any listed. But based on how well the Lumisource lights sell, plasma lights, I decided to go ahead and pick it up. I had to pay $10 for this one. The other two I got, I paid $5 for. But I would imagine I could still sell this for like $30 plus shipping minimum. I'll probably try $40. Got three pairs of shoes. I paid uh, $2 for these San Antonio Shoe Company shoes. They're in great condition. These are the like the free times, I believe. Should be to sell these for no less than $25 in this condition. Then I also got these uh, Fila shoes I paid $5 for. These are size 12 4E, so very wide shoes. They got the hook and loop on top instead of the laces. Uh, comfort shoes, I uh, believe people with diabetic problems like to buy these types of shoes because of the feet swelling they're wider so but i find a pair of shoes like this even though they're typically not worth picking up uh, if the size is good i'll pick them up if they're clean like these are so i do think i can sell these i'll probably price them 30 dollars plus shipping i think they're going to sell so i had to pick up these uh brahma i don't know if i've ever actually tried to pronounce that brand in real life but these shoe or these boots are not particularly big sellers and I knew that but they were one dollar and um, they're in really good condition even at one dollar I think it, it's not gonna be that much money like I'll probably price them maybe fifteen dollars I think 20 max not a lot of people buying this brand pre-owned on eBay but you know what at a dollar it was hard to to not pick them up in this condition honestly not phenomenal shoe finds but I do think that there's going to be some decent profit there once they sell. So I made a bundle deal here for all this stuff. You're going to see all of this right here up to the magic cards. And I paid $140 for all of it. The crowning jewel is going to be this uh, Nintendo Snoopy Tennis Game & Watch. This thing's in pretty good condition. It's got the foam and the paperwork in there. I did notice it had some black around uh, the screen that was starting to show up, which happens with some of these old games like this, but pretty rare. Um, I saw some comps around $200, not a lot listed, a lot in other countries. I'm probably going to price this $300 and uh, just wait for somebody to come along that's a collector that wants to buy it because these things in the box like this are pretty rare. Uh, you're not going to find them too often. Here's a Sega Genesis. You know what? Throw this in the bundle because, well, it's a Sega Genesis. It doesn't have a controller or cables. Uh, but I, I probably have cables somewhere, right? I've just been buying for so long now. Um, anytime I see Genesis cables or just loose Genesis um, with parts or whatever, you know, you pick them up at a good price. Anyway, with the cables and a controller, you know, it'll sell for 50 bucks. So anyone watching the channel, you're going to be like, Wick, you found another phase 10 dice yeah and i also got a phase 10 masters which i've had i think i found one other time i sold it on ebay for about 45 dollars i remember uh this one on amazon is even better um i think around 80 dollars is what i was seeing pre-owned now i don't know why i sold the last one i got on ebay and maybe there wasn't a listing at the time or Maybe it was missing like the manual or something. I just don't remember. And then you got phase 10 dice, which is complete. And I just sold one of these last week for uh, I think $79.99 on Amazon. So you're looking at about $80, $80 minus the Amazon fees. Uh, but then there's this uh, Hello Kitty, which I got. I didn't know how much this was really going to be worth. Um, not really worth a whole lot. It seems like maybe... It was on Amazon for $15 with a high rank, but that was included in the bundle. Same with his phase 10, uh, not really worth anything. 
I might just bundle it with like the Hello Kitty or something. <laughs> I don't know. I'm selling these on Amazon, so I can't bundle it there. If I sell this on eBay, maybe I'll bundle it together. But yeah, they're new cards, so why not? Got some games here as well. Sonic Mania for the Switch. Uh, not worth a whole lot. Wii Sports Resort, which I typically sell for about $30 on eBay. I believe the last one I sold was for about that. Donkey Kong Returns, I think, is a $20, $25 game. I don't remember all the prices on this stuff, but you got some other just kind of cheap games that aren't worth a lot. But uh, two or three, maybe four of them here are sealed, which is pretty good. I'm going to sell them on Amazon sealed like that. And uh, why I'll probably make like around $10 a piece on them on Amazon is, is nothing special. And then, of course, the Wii Sports Resort and stuff I'll sell. The others I'll probably just bundle with other stuff. You know, there's some good profit in this stack for sure. Okay, and then the Magic cards, which I'm always excited to see Magic cards um, anytime I can see them. You got the this newer set here, this deck building kit. It's got some cards in there. I went through and pulled out all the rare cards and uh, not a whole lot in there. I don't think there's anything truly valuable there but there's also these cards here these older ones when i saw these for one i got really excited because majority of these are revised i believe and i saw this one and before i could see what it actually was i'm like is that a dual land is that one of the power nines right there uh no it's a fallen empires just a land card really maybe worth two dollars unfortunately uh there's a wrath of god i guess revised third edition right i'm not 100 percent sure sometimes with these these cards but from what i know i believe it's something like that five dollars though is about all that's worth but they're in really good condition you might be able to get more honestly and uh for anyone who cares yeah, here's just some more of them. There is um, a dark card in there I saw, uh, but I did not recognize anything that was valuable. Off to, oh, and there they go. Now they're worthless. But I also noticed, you see, like, some of these pages are just missing cards, right? It's kind of bizarre, so I don't know if somebody picked through these and pulled out anything. I mean, this time period, you know, Power 9 could be around Black Lotus, which I've, you know, in mint condition Black Lotus like that. Wrath of God would probably be <laughs> like 50 grand. So it is always exciting to see cars like this. Again, uh, there's definitely some money there, but nothing is going to, you know, be super valuable. More than likely, all these magic cars are just going in my magic card collection. Oh, yeah, I also got this clock. Wasn't sure what this was going to be worth. Um, Jefferson 500 clock. Kind of surprised when I got home and looked it up. In this condition, uh, I, I was seeing anywhere between like $50 to $100. So I'm really not sure what that's going to sell for exactly. But a very cool vintage clock nonetheless. So if I was to just add up all that stuff from the $140 bundle, uh, it's going to be some really good profit, especially depending on how much I get from the Game & Watch. And of course, since I'm an Amazon seller, I can get a bit more money for the Phase 10 stuff and uh, the sealed games. So... It's all going to work out in the end. So got some clothing at Goodwill. There's some new clothing racks, which I don't hardly see anymore. So I had to go through them and found some decent stuff. Here is a Jesus Rocks tie-dye shirt vintage. I could not find any real comps for this. I saw one listed the exact same on eBay for 100 bucks. Don't know if it would sell for 100 bucks. Though I'm, I'm probably going to price that at least $50 just to see you know, if I can get someone to buy it. Uh, then maybe in the next year or so, I'll just mark it down if no one's interested. You can kind of tell also with clothing, if you put something up for like 100 bucks and you get like six, seven, eight watchers real quick, you know that it's something people's going to pay up for. They're probably just not going to pay the $100. So you can kind of gain your price on that got one of these vintage um, Native American like wolf tie-dye t-shirts as well I believe this is from like 2000 uh, pretty good I saw a comp for one I believe sell for $25 when I did an image search then I got this Yeezy um, Yeezus tour Adidas kind of pull over here and uh, I'm like hey this could be good some of this stuff pretty valuable you know it's pretty good since I considering I paid five dollars for it I, I believe I should be able to sell that for between 30 and 40 dollars is what I was seeing on eBay here's just a nice graphic design Ohio State sweatshirt this is uh, like the heavyweight 2020 vision brand not a great brand but still this is in very good condition. Ohio State popular team people buy for. So yeah, I think I should sell that for 25, 30 bucks. 
I think I saw a comp for one actually that sold for about that. And then below that, I got this Marlboro Country uh, jean jacket. Very clean, almost looks like it's never been worn. Paid, uh, I believe, $5 for this as well. These jackets, pretty good. People like them for work jackets, barn jackets, good keywords. Should be to sell that for $40 plus shipping in this condition. So if I'm going to add up all the clothing here, I think it's going to be some great profit. Here's a vintage microphone. Got this at Goodwill for $6.99. It came out on the new cart. It's possible it's new in there. It looks like it's in very good condition. It's wrapped up in plastic. I saw one sell for $50 and there's like four listed at around $40 to $50 price in there. This has the box and everything, paperwork. So I'll probably price it at like 40 bucks. Should sell at some point. People like vintage microphones. Here is an Emerson big screen caller ID. This is a little bit of a an Amazon bolo, I guess. I've found and sold these in the past. Found one new one time. I sold for about 150 on Amazon. Pre-owned, I've sold them between 75 and and $100. This one, um, well, I'll put it on Amazon probably for about $75, I would imagine. They sell good. Actually, I don't think there's anyone currently selling it on Amazon, so kind of name my price. I'll, pr I'll probably still price it like $75. This is pretty cool. This is a He-Man vintage lunchbox from 84. I paid $10 for this, mostly because of the condition, the content. Uh, this is something that's probably going to go on the shelf upstairs in my workroom with all the other cool finds I've found that I kind of want to keep. However, I'll probably list it still. Uh, it doesn't have the thermos. It has the thermos, probably $75, $80, but I'll probably still list this pretty high and just in case someone <laughs> wants to pay it, you know, kind of the, I don't want it to sell price and um, just let it sit on the shelf for a while. Got a pretty cool back, pretty cool graphic on the sides. I liked it. But a couple bucks for a Stephen King book. That's just going to be lotted up with other Stephen King books I have. So if you caught the video where I talked about vintage pool floats, beach balls, and stuff like that can be worth hundreds of dollars, well, go watch it. It's a great video. And, uh, this one I saw at the garage sale, $1.50. I'm like, ooh, this could be good. Super float. Looks like it's probably from the 80s. I couldn't find any comps on it. It doesn't look like the super float stuff. I think I saw a super float 2 uh, priced at like $65. I don't know if it's new. It's been used. The box just may be old and falling apart. It might be new. The vinyl is very heavy, so I think that's what people like with the old vintage stuff. So... I don't know. Um, I'll probably price it like $30 and see if it sells. So I got some board games and Legos here. Uh, this one came from a garage sale. $10 for this Minecraft set here. It is new. Uh, she said her son just kind of tore the side of the box, but everything's in there in the bags and everything. So I'll be able to sell that on Amazon actually as used like new. I've done it a lot with Lego and priced it like $5 less than the new price, which I think was like $55. It was pretty good and makes some good profit on that. So yeah, happy to pick that up. And below it, I got one of these Home Alone games. These sell for at least previous years. I've sold them for $40 to $50 pre-owned on Amazon around Christmas time. I paid $2 for that. So we to make some decent money. We got Electronic Battleship. I believe I was going to make about $25 after fees on this. $4.99. Popped it open at the store. It looks good. Probably all the pieces are there. I think I have extra pieces anyway. Uh, if I happen to be missing any. Check this out over here though. Uh, kind of bizarre. I found this Angry Birds on thin ice. Somebody just put it in a tin and then like cut the box and put pieces of the box on there. Goodwill wanted $4.99. I don't know if all the pieces are there, but what I can tell you is I have a box upstairs that needs pieces, so I'm almost certainly going to be able to complete this. It looks like all the pieces are there um, from what I know about it. And this is a pretty good one to sell on Amazon. Not the best. Uh, I should be able to sell it pre-owned uh, for $50. I think I sold a couple um, earlier in the year for about $50 a piece on Amazon used. Now, if, it, if I didn't have the box upstairs, the original box, I would not just send this tin into Amazon. That's just something you don't do. Then I got one of these Who Knew games, which is, which was an, only $1.99, which is nice. And well, I sell these on Amazon too, and they sell for about $35, $40. Just kind of a bread and butter item I've sold for years on there. They start selling really good around Christmas. And then you can see here, I got some stuff from a Lowe's I stopped in. Some of these like shower slide rails, and I paid $25 a piece for these, I think. Maybe it was $22. And uh, I couldn't find any comps for this exact one, but I saw some similar selling for around $70. I think they're normally $75 in Lowe's. So I figure I can make some money on those. 
Also got a couple more of these handrails. I think I got four or five last week of these bronze. I uh, should be to make right around $20 a piece on those, I think it was. And then I got this other shower rail system here. Normally priced like $250, $257, something like that. I paid $57 for it. I do think I can make $50 profit on it. Uh, being brand new, it's just easy to deal with and people will want it. I'll be selling that on eBay. Uh, it's restricted brand. These two I sell on Amazon. These I'll probably sell on eBay because there's nothing on Amazon from them. But still, some good retail arbitrage profits, I think. But there it is, everybody. That is my haul for today. Got some good items I'm looking forward to lifting. Not looking forward to cleaning that popcorn popper or counting the board game pieces because, well, hey, it has to be done. But yeah, great haul. Thank you for watching, everybody. Don't forget to hit that like button on the way out. Let me know in the comments what you're finding out there. I love to hear what other people are finding your best finds of the week. You can find me on Twitter, Instagram, and TikTok, flipping underscore junk. And this has been Wick. Till next time.